so let me start my talk you know uh, with a very small quote in sanskrit is called uh, vidya dadati utkrist it means knowledge makes you great i remember in 2015 i met with dr apj abdul kalam in delhi and you know he said the same verse knowledge makes you great and do something for your society humanity and nation and i, I believe in you know uh, these words because we are living in 21st century the century of technologies and i believe you know knowledge innovation is treated as your identity and if you have you know a knowledge if you have some innovation only then people can recognize you in this particular world because you know in my life i interacted with a lot of people ranging from the ex president of india to the vice president of india i met with the nasa scientists iso scientists and all but no one can recognize you no one can appreciate you until and unless you can you know come up with a great solution you can come up with the innovation or you can come up with a great technology so i mean uh, i remember i started my journey i started my work at the age of 18 years right now i'm 26 so i started uh, research work in the field of space technology and i my uh, even i wrote a very first research paper at the age of uh, 18 years i remember initially everyone decided my research work everyone you know decided my work what you are doing in the field of space tech because i am electronics and communication engineer by prof uh, by qualification and all but i believe in myself i believe in you know uh, my work and i succeed uh, i got uh, you know a lot of good appreciation ranging from become the first indian to propose some technology and got a limca book of records to the karma vir chakra you know institute in the united nations so i got all this uh, stuff and even i failed you know many times in my life i remember i always wanted to become the space or aerospace engineer but unfortunately i was unable to you know crack the most prestigious examination of india that is the iit and i got an admission in you know uh, any other university in electronics and communication but as uh, you know at that time i was still interested in uh, you know space tech and all and i remember and so as so at that time i failed when i was in class 12 and i remember when i was in second year of my engineering you know i proposed a girl and she rejected me again i failed so that was the second time i failed in my life and after that in the fourth year i gave a gate examination and i secured minus 10 marks again i failed but it doesn't mean i am a totally failure person so i succeed a lot in my life i mean so so after that in 2015 i got a fellowship and i was in uh, united states and i met with a lot of people in california and all and i found you know uh, people in us or especially the students in us they are working on real cool technology innovation starting from the pure science to robotics drones and all and i decided and came back to india that's yes i want to do something in the field of uh, education because every one of us you know uh, know about the education system of our country so i did uh, i mean research work in the field of space tech for around 7 years but now i decided to do something in the field of uh, you know education because i believe you know education is the best way to give back to the society because you know society gave me a lot of stuff lot of things now it's my time to give back to the society so you know i decided this thing and you know after turning back from united states i met with around 30000 students in india and i found you know i asked a simple question from the students what is a science and hardly 2% students know what exactly is a science and we are talking about to go to moon or mars in a coming years and on a ground level the reality is totally different we even don't know what exactly is a science and we we you know we want to make a robots we want to make a drones but we don't know what is the science so that's why i decided yes i want to do something you know the biggest failure of the education system in india is that our students are taught what to think not how to think so this is the biggest failure of you know our education system and if i am talking about you know innovation from last many years this no no not even a single you know uh, ground shaking or you can say the innovation take place in our country which is the requirement of an hour we have to come up with more and more solutions more and more innovations and all so you know every time our prime minister says that india should be the next superpower but how we even don't know what is a science how india become the next superpower you know according to unesco report you know india will be half a century late in achieving its universal educational goal the 2030 deadline of achieving the sustainable development goal will only be possible if india introduce any sustainable you know or a good uh, you know fundamental changes in the education sector so there is a need uh, you know um, in today's era because we are living in the you know uh, century of technology so that's why technologies are very much important these days if we can compare you know india with china and europe and you can see the number of patents in china and europe is you know in a far good position as compared to india 
but i believe our students can do anything if we can go to moon or mars and definitely our students can do anything but the thing is that we have to start from somewhere we have to take some steps and we have to come up with the great solutions so let me give you a, you know a small example this is the reality you know when we are in schools you know our parents say we have to crack the iit we have to take you know more marks than gupta ji sir or varma ji sir right we have to take 90% marks 80% marks the thing is that but no one can say we have to come up with a one solution or one innovation within here no parents you know can say this type of a stuff to their uh, you know their their students or child so and this is the reality of an engineering students even i am an also an engineer india is a country where we first become engineer and then think what i really want to become so this is the reality of an engineer i mean in india so you know in the last year we are going to learn about new technologies we are going to you know learn about uh, languages and all and a few days back i met with one of my friend and um, he is a biotechnology engineer so currently he is in uh, you know infosys biotech engineer doing a job in infosys as a software engineer now you can see so that's why you know in this universe there are millions of problems faced by billions of people so you have to come up with a solution because this is the right age if you can come up with the great solutions and this is the demand and if you can do something for the society so please come up with the great solutions come up with you know something innovative so that we can give back to the society and we can do something for the society and if i'm talking about the education system there is a requirement of a revolutionary new approach to teaching and after returning back from uh, us we started a company with a vision uh, or with a mission you know to empower and skill individual so that anyone can learn anyone can explore engage experiment invent and build something our vision is to you know to enable every child to reach their fullest potential by being fully engaged and inspired in their you know learning the 21st century need of fundamental you know changes in the in the mindset of a students mindset of educator and the you know culture in the teaching today and how this you know the fundamental changes take place so the thing is that in order to achieve the fundamental you know changes in the education system the teacher have to guide the student teacher have to give a proper mentorship to the students because i met with a lot of you know teachers uh, or a lot of uh, people in our country and this is a major problem you know teachers are not supporting uh, to the you know uh, to their students by providing a proper mentorship or a guidance so this is a requirement of a proper mentorship and guidance and i believe you know when an educator adopt a powerful and a meaningful ideas or meaningful you know a system then definitely everything is possible in the nation and i believe you know each and every student deserve to be taught in such a way so that you know every student can enrich their mind and you know unlock the potential of each and every student and we have to give them the lifelong set of a skill set to each and every student so that you know every student can flourish uh, this today's competitive world so that's why you know there is a requirement uh, of a revolution in the field of uh, teaching itself education for sustainable development as we are talking about you know sustainable development 2030 sustainable development goals and all and education is one of the you know main goal of 2030 sustainable development goals so i believe you know education and learning are very you know are very important for the ability of you know a present and a future leaders and a citizen for a better solution and to find a path for the better future and i think it is essential you know to build a world where everyone can inculcate their values behavior lifestyle for a sustainable future and for a positive social transformation and you know we are so here again there is and we are talking about innovation there is a problem here okay so education for the future and we have a lot of technology and i believe you know technology has the potential to fundamentally revolutionize the education so we have to do something you know with the help of technology and education we have to collaborate both the things and we have to come up with something new for uh, you know next generation and innovation centers in villages and small cities the thing is that as i told you i interacted with a lot of students a lot of people uh, you know in my country and i interacted with the students in slums i interacted with the students in villages and they said that sir hame bhi kuch sikhao please do something for us you know the slum student asked the same question please do something for us so you know our com- you know my company decided to give a free uh, education to the students in a slum so that they can also know about what exactly is the science they also know about the innovation they also know about the what exactly they want to do in their life so we took this uh, step because i believe you know being a citizen of this country it's our responsibility to come up with a solution 
because every time we think that government will do something or prime minister modi will do something for but no i mean it's the duty of each and every individual to come up with a great solution to do something for others you have to you know uh, do uh, for the society so it's the duty of it's not only the duty of the government but it's also the duty of an individual to come up with the solution so friend if we are providing uh, like a free education to a people in the slums and we are planning to set up a, um, you know uh, innovation centers in the villages because i mean in a major um, you know cities like delhi bangalore each and every students have you know everything but what about the students who are in the villages but i believe you know students who are in the villages they have also the same you know uh, potential or same capacity they can also do something so i mean we decided this thing that yes we can do something for them also so we started uh, this sort of innovation centers in the villages and the small uh, cities and you know we started the moment is called one student one innovation so this is our you know new stuff one student one innovation so under this a major you know contribution is that each and every student of this nation can come, come up with a one innovation and i'm sure you know our country will be the next super power for sure if we can come up with the one innovation so this is the demand uh, you know for an r if we can come up with some good solutions because you know there is a requirement of this type of stuff and in my life you know as i told you uh, uh, you know i got a lot of stuff now it's my time to give back to the society and i'm sure i mean if you guys can come together then definitely we can change this world and india should be the next super power and we can do a lot of stuff for the development of society humanity and nation thank you thank you very much